Good morning my dear students. Welcome back to your science class. Today we are going to learn about chemical symbols. Students, you know that there are 118 elements and millions of compounds. Writing the full name of elements and compounds is very inconvenient and time consuming. In order to simplify this task, specific abbreviations were used to represent the elements and compounds and these abbreviations are known as chemical symbols. Earlier pictorial symbols were used for representing elements. Later, John Dalton, an English chemist, improvised these symbols and proposed a scheme of notation to represent elements. But as the number of non-elements increased, this method too became very tedious. To overcome this, abbreviations are used to represent elements and these abbreviations are called chemical symbols. Or we can say the representation of an element using the short form and abbreviation of its name is known as its chemical symbol. For example, oxygen is represented as O and chlorine is represented as Cl. Remember students, the symbols used today was suggested by a Swedish chemist known as Johns Jacob Bergelius. He suggested that instead of using pictorial symbols, letters of English alphabet should be used to represent elements. Now, let us discuss about the rules to be followed for deciding these symbols. The first letter in the name of the element is used to represent the symbol of the element and it is written as a capital letter. For example, the symbol for hydrogen is H and for nitrogen is N and for carbon is C. Rule number second. The symbols of some elements will be the first two alphabets where the first letter is written as a capital letter and the second letter is written as a small letter. For example, the symbol for calcium is Ca, for copper is Cu and for zinc is Zn. Rule number three. The symbols of some elements have been derived from their Latin names. For example, the Latin name for sodium is natrium and its symbol is Na. The Latin name for potassium is Calium and its symbol is K. This representation of chemical symbols is used all over the world, no matter which language is spoken. And this makes it useful for identifying different elements. That's all in this video. Thank you.